everybody and welcome back to On The Timeline and part two of our video looking into how we edit our podcasts over Zoom. I'm Yaku. If you haven't seen part one yet, you know, you should probably click up here. Go check that out first. But today we're going to go over how you edit it and how to do the audio. So if you want to know how we set it up and got to where we are now, definitely go click that video. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. So we just go through and the nice thing about this is we can just press play. You heard that sound there. It sounded really bad. What I like to do first is just use the zoom sound. So solo the zoom sound. To our friends and colleagues um, about their specific... Oh, remember we need to change the sound here as well. Change it to two. And then maybe we can also just delete all of these empty audio tracks. Departments in the South African... Form. Okay, and there we go. So now we can listen to the podcast. I'm a right-hand director, sometimes producer. And the cool thing is we can just play... And sometimes play, editor in the South African click. film industry. In Johannesburg, where it's cool <laughs> <Nice>. to work. <laughs> okay, and then if we zoom in on our timeline here, you see it's it made a, a cut for every in single the time. South African film industry. But now, let's say I'm not very happy with that. I can just go back and then choose... Christian, because he's making this funny face. So it's and sometimes editor in the South African film industry in Johannesburg, where it's cool <laughs> to work. And then Nadia was laughing here. <laughs> so we can cut to her. <laughs> and then back to the gallery view. So now you can go through and edit the video for all of your podcasts. Okay, so I've went ahead and just edited like the first minute just so I can show you. So now we're going to get to the audio. Um, which in a podcast is probably one of the most important things. <laughs> so now when it comes to editing the audio for our podcast, you might be thinking, okay, now we need to use something like Audition or Pro Tools or Logic or any of these programs, which is also where you probably saw in the thumbnail, I don't like to use Audition. It's not easy for me to use. I'm sure if I spend more time with it, I'll get to understand exactly how it works. I'm sure it's very powerful. So for audio specific things, I'd rather use something like Pro Tools. But for this kind of podcasting thing, I'd much rather just do it straight in Premiere. It's very powerful. It's easy to use and you don't have to shift things here and there to and from another program. So let me show you. The first thing that I'm going to suggest is that everybody record their own separate audio. Mark records his audio on like a phone and that's already better than using just the Zoom um, sound. So if you're gonna get your participants, if they don't have microphones for the cameras, they should at least just use a phone. Generally speaking, if people are using headphones and they're recording with the computers, it should be fine. The most important thing here is that it's all separate. So let's start off here with my sound. So I'm starting the thing here, so I'm gonna delete uh, Mark sound. I'm going to delete the Zoom sound and I'm going to delete Christian sound. Hi there, welcome back to Department Spotlight, the show where we talk to our friends and colleagues um, about their specific departments in the South African film industry. Hello, I'm Nadia. Okay, so now we get to Nadia, right? So now I'm going to use the Zoom sound, definitely. I'm going to delete my sound and I'm going to delete Mark sound. Okay, so something that's very important is to put each person's audio on their own track and I'm going to show you why in a little bit, but for now let's just make sure that is what we're we doing. So so track three will be yeah, Nadia, so we'll I leave it there. Next, we have Christian. Blah, blah, and, and Christian recorded with using his Mac, remember? So his audio is separate already, so we'll also leave I'm it in track five. Director, sometimes producer and sometimes editor in the South African film industry. Uh, and then we'll we'll move Kaylin's sound down to five. You just move it and it makes a new one. And then I'm going to delete my sound and I'm going to delete Mark's sound. Cool, so next... Amazing. Okay, well, welcome, guys, to this yeah. um, second pandemic edition. So you can hear Mark said, like, yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. And so that's my sound. And then in the Zoom sound. Welcome, guys, to this um, second. And you see it's very weirdly mixed. So I'm going to rather delete Mark's sound or just trim it out from there. I'm going to trim the, audio, the Zoom sound. And Christian didn't say anything, so I'm just going to. So we're going to have me saying oh. things. Um, department spotlights. <laughs> um, today we're using Zoom for the first time. So we're just going to cut out uh, all of this stuff where I'm talking and introducing the show. And then we get to around here. So now we get to a part where everybody's talking over each other. <laughs> and I don't have the sound from 
um, Kaylin or Nadia. So I'm going to need to use the zoom sound, right? But because it's all synced out properly, I can adjust my levels and I can adjust Mark's levels. If you listen to just the zoom sound here, you didn't, didn't care. <laughs> yeah. The title Fancy. of the video. Yeah, from everybody in this video. <laughs> yeah, you somehow missed all the titles. So that's the zoom sound, right? So Mark is a little bit soft there, so I'm going to... Yeah. From the title Fancy. of the video. Yeah, from everybody in this video. <laughs> yeah, you somehow missed all the titles. <laughs> from everywhere. But now you, you see that my sound is a bit low. So this is just basic mixing. I'm just going to trim myself back there. And then I'm going to lower the zoom sound a little bit there. I'm just going to use the gain for this. You can also obviously use the, you know, if you make it bigger, you can use this little bar here. I like to just use gain. The default transition is fade, cross fade. So I just shift D on that and then it fades into the lower. <laughs> yeah, you somehow missed all the titles <laughs> <Okay>. everywhere. <laughs> okay, Mark, you can... So now it's all like wiggly woggly. So I'm going to just delete the sound again there. So every time where it's wiggly woggly, you want to either bring down the sound or you want to delete it completely. Otherwise, the sync issues are Start weird. Start with the questions. Cool. Um, and then Mark starts with the questions. So we just use his sound for that. So you just do that for your whole video. Make sure that everybody's talking uh, in their own track. Okay, so now let's apply some filters to the sound. So let's solo mark sound here so that uh, we can use him since he's on the first track. The first thing I always like to do is add an EQ and I like to use Fab Filter Pro Q2. I know there's Pro Q3 out, I just haven't bought it yet. If you don't have this, you can just use the default EQ. Uh, you know, I, I feel like the, the graphic EQ lies at 10 bands. It, it has a very like basic Thing, but it does the same thing. So I like to use Fab Filter. First thing I do is I create a shape, low cut, right? I mean, this is just to make sure that we're not using um, up any space in the bases and when people listen to it, maybe in a car or whatever, that it doesn't have a, too much low end. Ooh, um... And then I like to take down the highs just a little bit. And then around one kilohertz, I like to take down. That's where there's a lot of nasal sounds. And then let's jump into and then that's just the personal preference. You can boost or bring down the the bass there a little bit. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all to personal taste. OK, so if you listen to the sound of Mark here, um, let's jump into pre planning. You can hear there's a little bit of, you know, just the natural reverb from the room that he's in. And I've got this plugin from Accusonus called Era 4 Reverb Remover, and it's just the one knob uh, plugin and I just apply a little bit of this and it just, I, li I don't like to use the default. I like to bring it down. Ooh, um, let's jump into... And then that just uh, removes a little bit of the reverb. Um, let's jump into... Re reverb is a difficult thing for programs to remove, so it might not be necessary for you. Then the last thing I like to do on each track is add compression, okay? And I just do that using dynamics. And the reason I use compression is to basically boost everybody's sound without it clipping. You know, if you have like an hour long podcast, you you can go through and gain everything up and down as people are talking. Um, but, you know, once you've deleted everybody's tracks, now it, it's a lot easier for you to just go in and do compression because we can boost the compression by like a 10. Obviously, it depends on the average volume of your actual track. You can check that very easily by just choosing like a piece of your audio, pressing G to bring up the audio gain, and then you can see it's like minus 10. Okay. Now it's not minus 10 throughout the thing you see, you can see here, it gets a lot louder, but this is the nice thing about using compression. We can see that one is minus four. So we want to be the average. So between that one's minus four, the first one is minus 10. So we're going to go in between that and use seven. Okay, that's the average. The threshold, I like to bring down to minus 10 for this, and then the ratio, I put it on four. Four is pushing it a little bit, don't go higher than four, but four does a really good job of boosting. What do you do before you start? You hear that, the sound is already a lot louder. And then when we get here. Say for example, like what cereal that character eats. It boosts it a lot, regardless of how, how loud he's talking. And then you can go in later and 
refine it if needed. But that's a pretty good way to get an, a good compression level. So you can copy these settings pretty much to all of your tracks, depending on how loud it is. I would say rather check average level for your other tracks before just leaving the compression at seven to like send in their own footage. Um, this time we're trying to record through. And Skype. you can see this level meter just going up and down as it likes. So Fab Filter, I, I like to just copy it straight over and then tweak it a little bit. Dynamics as well, but you'll see if you're using a lot of zoom sound, the zoom sound is pretty compressed already, right? So if we listen to this, hello, I'm Nadia. You see how loud I it's going. I am a creative researcher for. If we check G. It's also at minus four, minus five. So just make sure that your gain in your compression is at a good level compared to the average uh, level of your actual tracks. Okay, once I've done all that, I also apply another dynamics compression to the master track. Make this threshold minus six, keep the ratio at four. I don't touch the gain on this one. And then I also put a limiter on minus three. Now this is just gonna make sure that, that there's not a sudden like burst of everybody being loud um, during your podcast, that's gonna then clip your audio. So these are just like sort of safety things. If everything is mixed properly before the part, it's not actually gonna do anything because we're not boosting or lowering anything. We're just saying that if it gets to minus six, oh, bring it down a little bit. And if it gets to minus three, cut it off. And that just keeps us from clipping. And clipping obviously causes distortion. So that's one thing that you wanna avoid in any kind of podcast. And there you have it, full control over who sees what when during your podcasts. We also use this method for basically all of our videos where we have more than one angle running at the same time. In fact, we're using it for this project right now. <laughs> so if you watched both of our episodes, then you know, you must like our content. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you click that little bell icon so that every time we make a new video, you'll get notified. We release new content on every Tuesday and every Friday the new short form on the first Friday of every month. So until next time, stay inside and make your movie or podcast. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to On The... I will show B... I will show B... <laughs> I, I... <laughs> um, and... Which is, what? Hey everybody. No, it feels weird. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody and welcome back to On The Timeline. <laughs> but I, uh, click on the link. So, click on the link. This is the same ep. Sorry, I keep forgetting that on the camera. For your pleasure. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, and welcome back to On The Timeline, the show where we break down... No.